An incredible mission to Mars with a Michigan connection. Just moments ago, NASA's Perseverance rover touching down on the uh, red planet, giving us uh, stunning images, life we've uh, never seen before. Tonight on 7 Up Front, Jesse Capasalatbro, a professor of aerospace, uh, aerospace engineering at U of M, uh, whose team helped make this uh, project happen, that landing. We thank you so much for joining us, Professor. Tell us about your team and what, uh, what they did to uh, help the landing of the Perseverance rover. Hello, and uh, yeah, thanks for having me, and, and hello, Detroit. You know, it's great to be here. Um, so this has been a very exciting time. And uh, I guess for context, you know, I, I joined the University of Michigan in 2016, and that's when we started working on this project. Um, so I've been working with folks directly involved with that landing, but the work we're doing is specifically targeted to all the future missions coming up. So that's sample return and the crewed missions eventually sending people to Mars. But what we're very interested in is all the data that's coming out from um, Perseverance. And what do you think is the most interesting thing we've learned so far from the uh, Perseverance project? So the mission is pretty incredible. The, the, the idea is to search for signs of extraterrestrial life. And so it doesn't get more exciting than that. But uh, for the work we do, we're particularly interested in those couple seconds right before it's landing, because that is very challenging. And when it comes to the future missions, um, so, so sending samples back to Earth or sending people to Mars, we don't yet have it figured out how to safely land those, the spacecraft on, uh, on Mars. And so what's been most exciting to me is just seeing the video footage of of the uh, sky crane maneuver, of the soil being ejected, um, and because this is all useful data for, for what we're doing. And so just being able to have a glimpse of um, what's, what it looks like during the landing is, is incredible. We've never had that footage before. Yeah, it's just all incredible, all of the video that we're seeing. We're looking forward very much to the first attempted flight of the NASA Ingenuity helicopter that's uh, on Mars. That's on hold now, I know, but what other kind of information about Mars could this uh, helicopter provide? So this helicopter is it's pretty amazing because um, helicopters need, uh, you know, to fly some type of, it usually needs air when we're on Earth, and there's not a whole lot of, of uh, pressure and density on Mars. So um, just the fact that this thing might be able to fly on a planet like Mars, uh, it's, it's extremely difficult, and the engineering went into it is, is really incredible. Um, now, this is really a proof of concept. The idea is this, this helicopter is going to fly forward, go into regions where the rover can't go, but also send information back to the rover to tell it, you should go here, don't go here. Um, but this is never, we've never had power ascent on another planet before. So this is really the first time ever that this will happen. And so this particular mission is, is truly a, a proof of concept to show, yes, future missions, we could do more of this. Yeah, that's fantastic. Now, if successful ingenuity, what could advanced robotic flying vehicles potentially mean for, you know, future Mars missions? And I don't know, maybe even beyond Mars someday. <laughs> yeah, so um, it's it just this is such a hard problem that if we could, if, if NASA can show uh, they're able to do this, and really the first, do it the first time. It's not like you have a lot of attempts at sending this out to another planet and let's see what happens, right? It's, it's very costly. It's, there's a, a lot of effort and time that go into this. Um, so if this, if this works out, I mean, I think it really opens up being able to explore in regions that uh, we just haven't been able to because right now we're limited to where the rover um, uh, can, can access. And so there'd be, this would be ridges and, and valleys where we might expect there to have been, say, ancient life, but the rover can't access. And yeah. so uh, it'll really open the door for, for a lot of interesting science in the future. It's just fantastic. Congratulations to your team for the role that uh, you've played uh, in this mission to date. Uh, fascinated to see what comes next. Uh, Professor Jesse Capasolatro, we uh, certainly appreciate you joining us tonight. Sure, thanks so much for having me. Absolutely, thank you. Glenda?